an asshole! All right, the internet gods here in South Dakota are vengeful. And so we're going to scale it down because it's important that Ruth uh, can watch her whatever shit show she watches at 9 a.m. Let's go to the request. I'm going to anonymize and change some things here a little bit to protect the client. Good evening. I wanted some advice on how to become successful in the labor market and what my next steps are to this goal. Right now, I'm working in the automotive industry in a STEM field. I'm not going to say which STEM field this is. But he uh, he has a bachelor's and master's in it. I'm also on the hunt for higher pay. Uh, you currently make a handsome salary, but you'd like to make over a hundred thousand. Even though I've been working in the automotive industry, I'm also qualified to work in a critical infrastructure part of this or any other economy. And we shall leave it at that. So you can work in the auto industry. Or there's this key and critical component to this or any other economy. It's an infrastructure. And you are certified, qualified to work in that field as well. Right, so we'll leave it at that. Uh, due to my background and some apprenticeships I've taken before. My concern is with the UAW strike occurring now. I don't know if I should stay in the automotive industry or move to a different field in anticipation of layoffs. If I stay in the automotive industry, I could reach my career goal faster, but risk getting laid off soon due to the strike escalating. If I move to the vital infrastructure industry, my pay will take a cut and the goal will take longer to achieve. However, with infrastructure always being in high demand, I believe that this particular infrastructure industry will be a, will be more stable. Any other advice regarding how labor markets work would be appreciated as well. Well, yeah, there's an entire sub-study called labor economics, if you want to study how labor markets work. <clears throat> so we have that there. So then I need just a little bit more information. I said, well, what are your goals financial and what are they? Like, do you want kids? Do you want money? What do you want? And aside from yourself, do you have anyone else to support? To support? And how much of a pay decrease would you sustain switching to this vital infrastructural industry? Uh, so I hear your general take on the UAW strikes occurring now. I just, um, <clears throat> real short, I, I agree with the, the, the auto workers that, Hey, uh, there's been a lot of inflation. Our set, our wages should go up. I'm not disagreeing with them on that, but the reality is that they've outsourced and, and sent overseas so much work already that they really ought to be careful what did they want they wanted four work days a week okay fine i just i i uh fortunately i think the younger generation uh including my own this entitlement mentality is now made in uh, it's it's the same old tiring rich fat cats all right fine we're going to mexico i they've already did you did they not see the the machines did they not see the robots to do all the work for them so I think it's it's short sighted. Yet it's a rock and a hard place with this. But they're just going to be. They'll find cheaper ways to do it. They'll find a way to replace you. Uh, so I tend to share your concerns about. I mean, are you part of the auto worker union though? I guess is everyone you have to be whether you're working on the line or not. But yeah, I I could see where they might start shutting down facilities. Like yeah, this is just a pain in the ass. <laughs> We're out of here. As for your follow-up questions, my main goal would be free of the corporate system. I don't have any preferences to material objects. Example, any car gets me from point A to point B is good, so I just want to have the ability to do what I want when I want. I also have uh, student debts to pay off, so I want to be able to achieve that goal as soon as possible. Living life to me as soon as I can is my main goal. I never want to be under the mercy of my boss employer ever again. Okay, I yeah, all right. That being said, uh, I have two parents that need my help and support. I don't want to abandon them just so I can take care of myself. It would be easier, but I don't think 50000 in passive income would be enough to support myself and my folks. Yeah, you're going to need more than that. I'm not going to argue about you taking care of your folks. I'm just going to assume you know what you're doing. From what I researched, it would be a 15 to 20% pay cut at first. All right, so you're still making a living wage easy. Uh, when switching from from auto to not auto, 
I'll be able to recover that loss with some more time in the field, though. I have the work ethic to make up for any missing pay, and I should be able to climb quickly. Yeah, you seem like you got to hustle. And I know it's bo I know it's boring, man. But I mean, if you really need the extra money, you could always go work a second job. I guess in your case, maybe you could find some independent contract work that you could do on the side, assuming you're allowed to do so. My main concern is again how with how skilled labor for men is on the decline. I believe I can make a killing in either sector with my skills and knowledge so I can get out of dodge. However, with the way the automotive sector is now, I don't know if staying is the right move. People need cars and people need this critical infrastructure and I can excel in either. It's just a matter of what looks best in the short and medium term. Uh, ba -ba 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 I, I would, if so, yeah, with all this long term, uh, I, I'd make the jump. I make the jump to the critical system because it's critical. The system is infrastructural. It can't be moved. You're imminently, I mean, with your educational background, it's in that system. <clears throat> and whereas, you know, you make a good money now, maybe a little bit more in the automotive industry going forward, especially if you're part of the union there. I don't, that just, that ship has been taken on water since I've been alive and it hasn't, it, it hasn't. No, oh, Detroit's booming. No, it ain't. Mexico is booming. South Korea is booming. Um, yeah, I I would. And I'm thinking more long term anyway, because, yes, you could excel in either field. I agree with that. But I also think that in the infrastructure project, there's more prone to be some pensions there or some more uh, better retirement compensation. I think there might be you might take a little bit of a hit now on your pay of which you'd recover with easily within three to five years. But then I also think long-term the retirement pay is going to be better depending on what sector within that industry you're working. And then you're not that old. So your folks are, uh, I don't know. Are they crippled now? Can they not work? What's the deal there? Like you need to take care of them now, but if you don't have to take care of them now, but could take care of them later down the road. All right. Well, that gives you 20, 30 years until your retirement age or they need to live with you or whatever. And I think, you know, what's the health care like? I'm uh, maybe auto industry. The unions probably negotiate pretty good health care system out of that. I, I, but I'm sure in the other industry, it'd be, it'd be better. And but underpinning all this is, yeah, that that industry is critical. It ain't going anywhere. And you will have guaranteed secure lifelong employment because they ain't making more than you in the United States. There's not a lot of you earning those degrees. Be a ton of people earning their diversity and inclusion consultant degree, but not you. You'll be, you're vital. Absolutely vital. And that cannot be shipped overseas. So I would say, yeah, well, I don't say, I mean, yeah, obviously it's way more secure than the auto industry. And so, yeah, I'd make the migration. It doesn't have to be today or tomorrow, but yeah, start, take, you got, look, you got a job now, so why don't you do a little bit of research, figure out what's the best way to go in there. What, what, what's in, what are they particularly short of in that field? I don't know if there's certifications or added training you could get, but yeah, I think it's a pretty wise move for the long term, even medium term. Uh, to switch but but it's not vital you don't have to do it tomorrow so i kind of agree with you there you go all right that's it we'll see you guys later toodles